Our first guests are joining us from Oakland Schools. Kevin Miller is Oakland Schools Production Printing and Graphics Manager, and Kristen Strong is their Augmentive and Alternative Communications Consultant joining us on today's show. Thank you both for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate having you both on. Kevin, let's start with you. Uh, can you Oakland Schools is the intermediate school district for many different districts here in Oakland County. And one of the key focuses this year are core communication tools. Can you take us through some of this focus in uh, Oakland schools and why these core communications tools, especially in this year coming out of a couple of really tough years in the pandemic, has become such a focus for this ISD? Well, Kristen, Kristen can give the good background of the core communication tools, and I'll talk about uh, the production of them. Yeah, right, so um, we develop these tools because we want to make sure that every classroom that has students that are non-speaking in Oakland County um, has tools that they can access to communicate. Um, so that's something that we feel very passionate about, and we, um, our team spent a lot of time developing those tools for that purpose. And can you give us some examples then, Kristen, of some of these tools that are used for the for these communications reasons? Because there's a number of different reasons why these different tools are implemented in some of these classrooms through Oakland schools and the districts that they work with. So, yeah, th this is what you're seeing is uh, core vocabulary. So this is a board that has a group of commonly used words in the English language that can be combined for a, a lot of different communication purposes, refusing, requesting, um, sharing information, asking questions. So um, what we do with students who are non-speaking is we teach them some strategies and techniques to use these, um, not only these communication boards like the ones you see, but also communication apps on an iPad that have a voice output so um, so that they can socialize and engage in school. And Kevin, I understand that in, in some of these cases, these communication tools are being produced using 3D printing. Can you take us through that process and, and what 3D printing does uh, to allow Oakland schools to utilize some of these tools in creative ways that are engaging with the students and with the educators alike? Yeah, Kristen's team provided us uh, with 36 uh, 3D files uh, representing 36 different core um, images. And we produce those on our 3D printer and has a variety of braille and, uh, and uh, words and shapes and colors. And Kristen can take you through a little bit how they're used by the students. Right. So these are for students that um, have a visual impairment or may be completely blind and also non-speaking. And what we do is we expose those symbols to students and associate them with um, things that are going to happen in their environment. So one of those symbols is the go symbol for go. We would put that in the student's hand. Um, allow them to explore that, and then we would actually go somewhere so that they begin to associate the meaning of that symbol with the act of leaving and going and doing something. And just following up with that, Kristen, how in, in, in today's modern education landscape do these sort of sorts of tools help to elevate the education of these students that are in these circumstances and elevate their education in a way that maybe w they weren't able to get that high of quality of communication with their educators in the past? Well, this is a great time um, for communication. Uh, communication apps have become so inexpensive and um, We've been able to provide communication to students no matter, the technology is so good that no matter what their disability is, whether they're blind, whether they um, are physically impaired and cannot move any part of their body, we can offer them access to communication with the technology that we have now. So it's a very exciting time for people who maybe never had any sort of communication system before to have a, a system that they can use independently, either using you know, a touch screen with their finger or through eye gaze, which is really exciting for us. And, and Kevin, these tools are available throughout Oakland County for educators and, and, and for students to use in the, as part of their core communications. So for those that maybe are interested in these in these uh, different tools, how, how much typically do they cost to produce and how can people, educators or, or parents and students get these available products to them? 
the core uh, playground signs, the signs themselves are $185. And uh, we've got a very durable, high impact vinyl frame for 313. Um, the sets of 3D core symbols, uh, they're, I think they're $12 a piece and you can buy one or you can buy all 36. Um, you can easily uh, go to our website, which is osprintshopstore.com or you can go to the Oakland Schools website, we'll get you there, or call us at 248-209-2150. And we do ship these, uh, we'll deliver them for you in Oakland County, any school, and if it's a longer way, we'll ship them UPS, and, and we ship all over the country. And, and Kristen, we know that so many of, of uh, our students in Oakland County are afflicted with some of these issues, that these core communications tools are really helpful for alleviating some of those communication barriers between educator and student. Just how widely across Oakland County and across Oakland schools coverage area are these tools being used at this time? Well, I, I would say that if you walk into any Oakland County school building that has students who are non-speaking, you should see these tools in place in those buildings. We have worked very hard. Each um, one of our consultants is, um, were attached to every district in Oakland County. And uh, one of the things we do is, is help teachers and paraprofessionals and speech pathologists get those tools into the classrooms. So you should see them everywhere in Oakland County. And in terms of the output, what have been the results of utilizing these tools from educators going up to uh, the ISD and from the ISD to your department? How effective have, have these been in eliminating some of those barriers, alleviating some of those barriers, and uh, uh, enhancing the education of these students that are, are using them? Oh, the impact has been tremendous. It's, um, it used to be that communication systems were very complex and difficult to use and only limited numbers of students had them. And um, with some of these tools and with the newer apps that have come out, it's much less scary and intimidating to use these tools for a teacher or a paraprofessional in a school district. Um, and it is just, um, through the efforts of the people in my department um, and providing that education to them, people are much more willing to use those tools and include students with communication um, difficulties throughout the day. So it's really made a, a huge difference in our students' ability to participate in school. We're joined today on the Megacast by two officials from Oakland Schools. Kevin Miller is their production printing and graphics manager, and Kristen Strong is their augmentative and alternative communication consultant on today's edition of the Megacast. Uh, Kevin, in addition to these tools that are being used for uh, students that may have uh, cer certain uh, visual impairments or auditory impairments or both, what are some of the other ways that your department uh, in production and printing and graphics are able to create uh, communications tools that are utilized throughout the rest of Oakland schools classrooms? Well, we do everything print and uh, digital communication wise uh, for all Oakland, 28 Oakland school districts and some of the surrounding districts outside of our area. So we can, anything that's printed or digitized, we can produce here and we're nonprofit. So our costs are pretty low. More information can be found at oakland.k12.mi. Dot us the Oakland Schools website. Just search Oakland Schools or go to oakland.k12.mi.us. Kevin, uh, Kristen, anything else for us uh, today about, about this uh, project, about this initiative that we haven't discussed and would be important for our audience to know? Let's start with you, Kristen. Oh, um, well, we're really excited um, to have, in the last couple of years, we made it our project to convert all of our boards to multicultural, so they include um, the diversity that we see here in Oakland County. So any boards that are being ordered from now on will reflect the diversity of our county. And Kevin, anything else for us? Yeah, with the help of Kristen's team, we can customize these playground boards. So if any of the districts or I know they're used at libraries, if they want any special core symbols or anything else, we can add those as the customer wishes. Kevin, Kristen, we appreciate you both joining us. Tell us about this really interesting and really important uh, program that's being utilized throughout Oakland uh, schools, the I local ISD in Oakland County that covers so many of our local school districts throughout our coverage area. Thank you both for informing us. Thank you. Thank you.